You want to learn how to upload videos to YouTube? I'm going to show you how it's done. YouTube Simplified. If you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. This video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. If you want the number one browser plugin that can help you grow your channel here on YouTube, go to trytubebuddy.today or click the link in the description below to get started for free. Let's head straight over to the computer and I'll show you how to upload a video to YouTube. All right, open up YouTube, make sure you're logged in, and in the upper right-hand corner, you wanna click on this little camera icon. It says create a video or post. We're gonna click that, and then we are going to click on upload video. Now that is going to bring us to the upload wizard. Next, you're gonna select a file that you wanna upload. Find the video on your machine that you wanna upload and click open. All right, so when you get to this screen, in the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna see the upload progress. You're gonna allow that to work. Now, all of this other information, you can actually enter after the video has been uploaded. I typically will not enter all of this information on this screen because my first priority is to make sure the upload is complete. Once that's done, then you can always come back and make changes to any of this other information. So what I'll typically do is come in here, and I may or may not give my final title here. I'll come down, I won't touch playlists, or thumbnails, we're gonna do that later. I'm gonna go down and identify whether or not this video is made for kids, which it's not. Here you will find a place to put in tags, AKA keywords, always good to use keyword phrases. You can search for videos here on Creator Fundamentals about how to select keyword phrases to use. This other stuff you can go in, video language, we're gonna set that to English here, caption certification, none, recording date, not gonna mess with any of those. License, you typically want this to be on standard YouTube license. Creative Commons means you're basically giving other people the opportunity to use your content, uh, so I would leave it on standard YouTube license. Also, you wanna kinda find a category, see what kind of videos that you're making, whether you're blogging, you can set that here. I'm gonna pick education on this video, and you have options with comments down here, hold potentially inappropriate, yeah, that sounds good. And we, again, would put keyword phrases in if we're going to do that. All this other stuff we can come back to. We hit next. Uh, it's going to bring us to video elements. I like to come back and do that after the fact as well. And hit next. What we're going to do is we're going to initially set this to unlisted so nobody can see it and that it's not public. And then we are going to click save. Now, once that's done, you're going to get this smaller box here. It's going to show you the video with a link to the video. We're going to go ahead and close that. We're not sharing anything on social media yet because we haven't finished adding all of the important information. So we click close. It's going to put that video in our video list. Now you get this to this by going into uh, your link over here and we're gonna show you, I'm gonna pop back out to YouTube so you can see how to get to this area because that's where it drops you. But if you are on your video here or on your YouTube channel and you click on your icon in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna go down to YouTube Studio to get to that back end of your YouTube channel. Then we're going to click on videos. That's gonna show us the list of videos right here. We're gonna to go to the pencil on the most recent one that we just uploaded, and then you can come back in and add all this information. So you're gonna put you know, your clever title up here, whatever it is. You're gonna put a, a description as complete as possible uh, using any keyword phrases in there that kind of describe what your video is about. Then you're going to choose a thumbnail. Now you can either use one of the options they've selected or you can do a custom thumbnail, in which case you'd click here and then you would navigate to a thumbnail that you've made and upload it to the video. For now, for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna pick one of these and leave it there. We see still it's not made for kids. Of course, if your video is made for kids, you wanna set that the other way. Keyword phrases down here and we're gonna click save. We're gonna leave it in unlisted and I'm gonna show you why. So we do this, we save it. And then if you want to put end screens on your video, you would click on editor. And then you have this option to add uh, end screens. It's this little plus on the editor right here. That is for end screens. So you can do add a playlist and select the playlist. And then you would want to adjust this playlist to play uh, however long is necessary, depending on whether you're using an end screen template or not, that's going to kind of dictate where you put these guys. But as you can see, it places them on your screen here. We'll just see. If you aren't familiar with templates and you're not using templates at the end of your videos yet, then you can definitely go to endscreentemplates.com and download my free template pack, which will give you an end screen template that shows you exactly where to place all your elements at the end of your video. 
It looks clean and professional and helps you to get viewers to look at more of your content here on YouTube. If this is your very first video, you're not going to be able to add a video element at the end, but for subsequent videos, you can start to do that. After we add our end screens, we're going to hit save here in the upper right hand corner. Then we're going to come over here and click the back arrow to get back to our video list. Now you can do this at any time before your video goes live. When you're ready to actually make your video public so everybody can see it, you're gonna come to this screen, you're gonna set the visibility to public and hit done, and then you're gonna add it to playlists. If you have playlists, again, if it's your very first video, you're gonna build playlists as you go along, but uh, that is something that you wanna get in the habit of, of adding your video to a playlist. Every time you make a video that's similar to that one, get it into your playlists as well. So people have multiple ways to find your content and you can group similar content into a playlist that allow people to binge watch your videos here on YouTube. But once you've done that, you set it to public, you click save, your video is now public and people can see it out on YouTube. Now, if you wanna share from here, you can take that link right there and share it out on social media. Let everybody know that you've just released a video. Congrats on uploading videos here to YouTube. Click on this playlist for even more YouTube feature tutorials that will help you grow your YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video.